Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about surfaces, surfaces to paint on for us painters. You know, we have so many choices, whether it's paper, canvas, wooden panels, rocks, whatever, but this is such an important subject matter. This is going to be in two parts. This part would be all about paper. The second part will be about painting on canvases. But first, let's get into paper. Ah, uh, glorious paper. I love paper, don't we all? You know, I like watercolor paper. It comes in 300 pound paper, it's very stiff. It also comes in 140 pound. It's not as stiff, very flexible, very flexible. But what I like about the 300 pound paper, this one happens to be Kilimanjaro from Cheap Joe's, and it really takes a beating. Okay, that's the paper, standard sizes. It also comes in these convenient pads. This is great to take on workshops when you don't have to carry so much stuff. This is the Fabriano 50 sheets. Look at this, beautiful, isn't it? It also comes uh, in either hot press or cold press. This is cold press, which means it's gonna be very smooth, very, very beautiful smooth. Great for watercolors. This is this is going to be more cold press. You know, it's going to be a, a more of a texture. Another watercolor. Last time I was down in Mexico in one of those workshops, it was great. But look, look at this. Strathmore makes for us oil painters oil painting paper. It already has the gesso on it. You can't tell. It's perfect for oil sketching. This I just love that stuff. You know, and then. Uh, let me show you some examples of, of how I use them. So remember, everything I just showed you is what I use in the studio, okay? It's, it's what my favorite stuff. And how I use it, well, here are two full sheets, 22 by 30, 300 pound paper. Look, it's like a carpet, it's so thick. It really takes a beating. So I like to put them together as a diptych. They're also, 300 pound paper is really great, even for the small ones when I'm doing my warm ups. This is a collage. And what I like about it, when I add all this extra stuff on top of the paper, it stays flat. And uh, again, more collage work, and I like to do a work a series. Anyway, this is how I use it in my studio, but let me show you some painting. So now I'm gonna do a painting demo on 140. Whether it's cold press or hot press, we'll see the difference. Here's my cold press, which just means it's slightly textured. Here's my hot press, which means it's very smooth. And now I'm gonna do a painting. Okay, well, I may as well do a painting of a wine bottle. Here we go. And I'm gonna use lots of water when I do this. Almost as much as if it were a watercolor. So here's the bottle. And here we go. Two, boy, I have it right in the middle, don't I? There you go. So it's very smooth, almost like a water. Oh, no, no, actually, this is the textured. This has a little bit of texture, that's what I thought. There we go. All right, so let's use the smooth. which means it's hot press. There we go. Very much like a watercolor. Let's put it on a table. A little bit of a table, here we go. <laughs> One of the nice things about the texture is that it can grab the paint. Where this, that more, see it flows. It flows a little bit. There's a little bit of texture in there, but not a whole lot. Treat, I treat the smooth, the hot press, like a watercolor. Well, let's go in there, kick it up. Pew. Oof. Paint them both at the same time. <laughs> the 
is just a quick demo so you can see how the paint flows. Make sure I anchor it. They both take a beating because it's really good paper, I should tell you. This is the Kilimanjaro. I also like Fabriano. There you go. See, one flows a little differently. Smooth, whereas the textured I can treat it almost like an oil painting. Let's put a little bit of these colors in the front. Whew. Doing this quickly. How do you like the rain in the background? I do. We don't get to hear it that much. So I'm enjoying it. Oh, almost neutral. See, I can throw a lot of paint on here. And it takes a beating. Well, this is good paper. And the better papers like this will stay flat. See, look. Even though I'm adding lots of paint, I'm really beating it up. There we go. Isn't this fun? <laughs> and here's the smooth. You have to move it around much like a watercolor. Where it bleeds a little bit, you know. I'll do it on purpose so you can see it bleeding down in here. It's really soft. See, it just flows beautifully. And that's the effect you want. So I hope you enjoyed that demo. These are the paper products that I use in my studio every day. So uh, I really like them a lot. So remember now there's part two coming up here and that's all about painting on canvases and also wooden panels and anything else too. So we'll cover that one in part two. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Thanks for watching.